Welcome to this week's edition of Insights. This would be our last show of this year, 2021, uh, after which we'll be taking a small break for the uh, New Year's and Christmas holidays, and we'll be back with our program, as always, uh, mid-January of 2022. Uh, since this is the last show of the year, uh, we're, so we're going to take it as a bit of an unusual take. We're not going to be doing what the issues of the week are. We're really going to be looking forward to see what is it that we're hoping for, wishing for, uh, expecting on a positive ledger, on a positive ledger for 2022. Some of these items will be serious, some of them will be humorous, and some of them will be seriously humorous. Uh, the first one, which is actually quite serious, uh, and I think this is something that we all wish for, is that I wish, and I think we all wish, the return of all of our POWs back to Armenia, back to their families, and out of the hands of the criminal state in Baku. Uh, the second one, I think we all want to collectively wish for peace, not just in our region, but in all possible regions of conflict next year, from the Persian Gulf through Iran, through Artsakh, and all the way to the Ukrainian-Russian border, we can all hope for peace uh, and for more wisdom and less war. Uh, the third one, which again is a serious one, is uh, I wish, and we could hope for, a government and a military that is ready for what is to head our way in spring, when the Aliyev regime will start its inevitable spring offensives into Armenia uh, in these minor land grabs that they try here or there, which they did successfully this year. And we need to be prepared for that. So I'm hoping that our side is prepared for that. Uh, fourth, uh, I want to wish that Erdogan continues to be the primary economic decision maker in Turkey uh, and follows through with all of his ideas and how to improve their economy because that man is to the science of economics, what the Kardashian sisters are to virginity. Our fifth wish of the year is uh, that our friends, the EU diplomats, learn that the word Aleyev is simply Lukashenko in Azeri, and that the Armenian word Artsakh is actually Kosovo in English. Our sixth wish is that our tech sector keeps growing, getting richer, and hopefully running the country soon enough. I'm talking about the leaders that come out of that industry. The seventh thing that I'm wishing for, this is for our political class in Armenia, is that they understand that you have opponents at home and enemies abroad, and not the other way around. Eight, and this is again a very serious thing, I wish for security and peace for the heroic people of Artsakh, because they certainly deserve it. Ninth is, uh, I wish that U.S. Secretary of State Blinken learns that both sidism is useful in understanding sporting events or football games, but not when you describe a democratic state being attacked by a neo-fascist one. Lastly, what I wish for, the greatest blessings in the upcoming year to everyone who in the last 14 months has housed a refugee, helped an injured veteran, created a job, and in each of their own abilities has created a large or small pocket of excellence in this country. You truly possess what the great English poet Keats described as the holiness of the heart's affection. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you for joining me with this week's edition of Insights.